It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Jesse Smollett has been indicted for a felony following a false police report. And he could face one to three years in prison. So they handed down that indictment yesterday after they heard testimonies and evaluated evidence. They also uh, saw the brothers in the store purchasing the, the items that they purchased in order to fake this whole attack, allegedly, against Jesse Smollett. Now, on his behalf, his attorneys released a statement. They said, like any other citizen, Mr. Smollett enjoys the presumption of innocence, particularly when there has been an investigation like this, one where information, both true and false, has been repeatedly leaked. Given these circumstances, we intend to conduct a thorough investigation and to mount an aggressive defense. I think people who are close to Jesse right now should keep a real uh, eye on Jesse because I think Jesse is going to uh, attempt suicide. Do we want to see Jesse go to jail? Or attempt to harm himself in some way. I don't want to see Jesse go to jail, though. Well, he did waste some time and resources. He did. He did a whole Good Morning America interview. Uh, yeah, he so did. So if it's not, it's an alleged assault still. I don't want to see him go to it's jail. Not about, it's not about what you want to see. I'm just asking, do you want to see the man go to jail, though? Yeah. Damn. He deserves to pay for his crime. Absolutely. You're playing with people's emotions. You know what I'm saying? You're pulling on people's heartstrings. Yes. You're weaponizing things like You're right. racism. You're weaponizing You're right. things like homophobia. You're right. We already live in a very, very tense racial climate out here in these streets, okay? Stuff like this can cause a, a, a civil war. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? you're right, but yes, I don't want to see him go to, go to jail. Now, do you want to see him lose his job on Empire? Hey, I, I want to see things shake up a little bit, but go to jail. You know. Hey. Now, previously, Fox had said that he continues to Locked be a consummate professional on set, and they said he is not being written out of the show. But now, according to Variety, Fox is considering removing him from production and they're going to figure out whether they need, to, they need to suspend him after he was charged yesterday. And by the way, just playing white devil's advocate, if there was, <laughs> this was a white man who did this, because this is no different. It's the same energy that got Emmett Till killed. Right. Okay? And stuff like this happens all the time in these streets. If this was a white person who did that, you'd want them under the jail. You're all right. right. So I got to keep that same energy when it comes to Jesse Lyon. Yeah. All right. You got to keep that same energy when it comes to Jesse Lyon. I feel bad for him. All right. Now for let's what? talk. <laughs> let's talk about another report. And this is on someone who got donkey of the day from Charlemagne yesterday. You know who that is? No. Oh. Tristan. Oh. oh I forgot. <laughs> now there's a new report from DailyMail.com where they're saying that Tristan spent Valentine's Day with Chloe, but Valentine's night. He actually went to a late night singles party. <laughs> it was at Jordan Clarkson's crazy. home who plays for the Cavs. And Rookie they said there were some Cavalier plays there, but it was mostly girls there. It was a ratio of about seven to one girls to guys. What a rookie move. They said Tristan came in at 1130 p.m. And they were asking, why is he not with Chloe? And people even asked him, hey, what's up with Chloe? Where's Chloe? And he just laughed. And they said there is a cell phone video from inside the party with supposedly of him and the two girls. I haven't seen this, but according to the Daily Mail, the footage is blurry. But the whole house was decorated with Valentine's Day decorations. And one person reports they saw him drinking and taking shots at the bar. And then he was flirting and exchanging numbers mm -mm -mm. with girls who came up to him. And that he was actually grabbing butts of the girls and went upstairs with two girls and disappeared for about 35 minutes. And then came back down and they said... It looked like something happened. What he, a he had to be movie. high or something. Man. See, the thing about Valentine's Day that people need to remember, a day is 24 hours. So you got to be with your main sugar stain for that whole 24 hours. Yeah, he you showed can't... up at 11.30 p.m. Nah, bro, over. that's not how this works. You can't be with her just during the day or, you know what I mean, or a few hours at night. The full 24, bro. That's why you got a whole day the next day to uh, do the side chick thing. All right. If you choose to. Not, not at all. You shouldn't, though. No, because black, black, men, don't black cheat. men don't cheat. Well, so you're saying he's not black. No, nope. I don't know that's what exactly he is. What we're saying. He's not one of us. You're questioning his blackness. <laughs> all right, I think he's from Canada. All right, is he considered black? Right. If you had to keep one, who would you keep, what? Tristan or Jesse? Oh, they both can get the hell up out of here. You know what? No, I take Tristan though, because Tristan is just a. Listen, we've all we all would be cute together, but he's a little tall Tristan. for you. <laughs> you know what I'm We've all been Tristan. I've been Tristan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been a dumbass. Can you ass. say his name again? No. I've been a dumbass, cheating yeah. ass Negro. Or uh, maybe Negro. You know and what I'm you saying? you can't spell Tristan Canada. without T-R-Y-S-T. All right. Now, Black China and Soldier Boy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it appears that they have broken up, according to a source close to them. They told TMZ. The relationship all started as kind of a get back at Tyga. It was revenge on Tyga. That's why they started dating in the first place. You know, because obviously Tyga is Ch Black China's ex, and Soldier Boy and Tyga had a little back and forth issue. But now it says that there's other factors involved in them breaking up. They said that Soldier Boy and China just aren't on the same wavelength. He likes to go out and party and hang out with friends. She really would rather just Netflix and chill and relax in the house. So as a result, they said that Soldier Boy just didn't seem ready to commit. 
I'm tired of hearing about Black China breaking up with people. She break up with people every two weeks. Didn't she just have a boyfriend a couple weeks? She yeah, did. Wasn't she just in Hawaii? <laughs> yeah, she sure did. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. Listen, All right. serious, serious, though, you need to put mm-hmm. Jesse Lyon on uh, Suicide Watch. I'm telling you. Isn't he turning himself in today? Yes, he is. Uh, listen, yep, today. A question. If he uh, fakes a suicide attempt. I don't want to say fake a suicide attempt. Yeah, don't say if that. He does a sui- yeah. If he attempts suicide. Correct. Right? Yes. Would you believe it? If you heard that come out this weekend that he attempted suicide, would you believe it? Yes. yes. Okay. I take that seriously. Anybody I take threatening that, seriously. that I, I, take hate crime, that. I, I take hate crime serious, too. See what happened when we believe that? I mean, that look, one. I did, listen, you know, we're looking at all the evidence. Obviously, when he first said that that happened to him, I didn't have a reason to think that he would lie about that. And now it's evidence kind is showing of otherwise. I didn't believe it. So. Listen, he's the king of make-believe. He's the gay Walt Disney. <laughs> no, he's the gay Walt Disney. <laughs> Yesterday was the gay Tupac. Today's the gay Walt Disney. Gay Walt Disney. Disney's the king of make-believe. You know what? I can't, right, I can't well, with you today. I, can't, I really can't with you He's today. We got front page news, huh? He's the king of make believe. We got front page news coming up. He's the king of yes. Mr. Rogers. Wasn't Mr. Rogers the king of make believe? <laughs> now, who would be stupid <laughs> enough to hang up flyers telling people that they want to sell drugs? We'll tell you who it was. <laughs> wait, wait, how can you be the gay Mr. Rogers? Wasn't Mr. Rogers? Don't you do that to Mr. Rogers. <laughs> All right. You've never seen the documentary. Was it nothing gay about Mr. Rogers? He had a documentary? Yeah. Yes. It's what? actually pretty good. Fire. You got to watch it. He wasn't gay? Yeah. I don't no. know. To be honest with you, I really don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that man's sexuality is. All right, all right. Front page news is next, and then Anthony Joshua will be joining us next hour. All right, so don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Your morning.